Happy Black Friday. So, did everybody get everything they wanted? Did you get that big screen TV for 200, 50 inch? Did you get that laptop? What, for $150, 200? Did you get everything you wanted? I know one thing that didn't come back. That's the life of Mike Brown. Now, we had a call to boycott Black Friday, the blackout. If we don't get no justice, we shut down the industry of shopping for Black Friday. But the unfortunate thing is we had more people continue to go out to the stores and spend and buy and collaborate with the chaos. Because at the end of the day, hashtag Black Lives Matter, but in reality, it really doesn't. And I like to sit there and say this directly to my fellow Africans. I'm not gonna use African Americans because I know some people get upset about being called African American. So I'm just gonna direct it to my Africans. Here we are living in a time where we're not valued. And honestly, I have to ask myself, do we really honestly value our own selves? Because when I look at it and I think about it, Black Friday, a black life, injustice, one day, two days, three days, four days, of not spending your own money to a system that doesn't care about you, a system that will use you and abuse you and will show you that you don't matter, but your money does. You buying all these products that will no longer even be worth any value within the next few years, you not being able to say to yourself that it's bigger than just spending my money. I'm going to stand in solidarity with my other people that are, say we have to do something about this problem, this epidemic, this broken system. You still go out and spend your money. You are part of the problem. You are the people that I have issue with. I had people go into the mall just to be spies and see how many Africans were in the mall shopping and how many were protesting. And there were, unfortunately, more shopping than protesting. Because no one is going to ever get mad until it happens to them, one of their family members. That's the unfortunate thing. Africans spend billions and billions of dollars every year on fake holidays that don't make sense. You can't tell me that Christmas is the day that Jesus was born, because that's a lie. You can't tell me that it's the day Christopher Columbus Thanksgiving found America, because that's a lie. So what are you celebrating again? <laughs> You're celebrating a lie, okay. In Montgomery, Alabama, in 1956, December 1st through the 20th, there was a boycott, a bus boycott. And that shook America, why? Because blacks stood. If we couldn't go into certain communities without getting beat, if we couldn't ride the buses in the front, not in the back, we're not going to ride the buses. That took a lot of heart and will, but people still did it. And they stood and things got better. But if we have a problem and you continue, continue to add fuel to the fire of the problem because you don't want to make a stand, you are a part of the problem. You can't one day protest, can't one day be upset, post on Facebook, Twitter about how angry you are about the injustice, the no indictment, and then turn around and spend your dollars. You just can't do it. It doesn't even make any sense. But a lot of you guys did. And as you look at this video, or someone tells you, listen to what this guy, Barry Axes, by the way, is saying, he's talking to you. I hope you realize that the people that are protesting, the people that are causing all this chaos and making it hard for you to shop are actually fighting for you because we all are just one pissed off police officer away from being a Michael Brown. Just remember that for you Africans, for you, I don't want to be called African Americans, for you coons, for you brothers and sisters that feel 
that this doesn't apply to them. This is a national movement. People are upset all over the world. You cannot tell me that it's not important. You cannot tell me that it doesn't matter. When we spend so much money every year on meaningless things, we have the opportunity to shoot them right where it hurts, and that's in their pockets, and you refuse to do it. I really, really wonder what will it take to get my people to realize the time is now. Think about it while you're watching your 50 inch TV at home that you'll probably get rid of within a year because they made a better 50 inch TV in a few months. Think about it. Blackout.